Many American universities now cost up to $100,000 a year to attend, and some of them aren't even the top schools. Is college even worth it anymore? You know, I want my child just to get a six-figure job, but now they will have to work one year just to pay one year of tuition. It's crazy. We got to talk about it. The end of the New York Times just dropped this article. It's going viral right now saying some colleges will soon charge $100,000 per year. How did this happen? And of course, Andrew's got the internet up in arms because everybody, Andrew, if you're concerned, concerned about grocery prices, wait till you get the $100,000 per year tuition. Ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, I want to, is this inflate tuition or college inflation? I don't know. I'm trying to think of a new term for it. You let me know. But David, some of these colleges that are about to, maybe they don't cost 100K right now, but they're on their way because they have increasing tuition is Boston University, Brown University, Dartmouth College, Harvard University, UPenn, USC, Tufts University, Wellesley, and Yale. Now, some of these are Ivy League schools, which I guess in a way I can more so understand, right. but I'm not going to lie, guys. University of Southern California. Just because Bronny went. Because all the Dude, celebrity kids go to that's USC. Crazy. That's why. I'm not going to lie. Listen, no shade to Boston University either, but that's not an Ivy League. So for Boston University. Hey, what are you trying to say about you, Boston University? You trying to say it's not worth 100000 a year? $100,000 a year, and you're not even the best school in Boston? Crazy. Listen, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. We're going to talk about university greed, whatever you want to call it. Check out SmileLastSauce, SmileLastSauce.com, available for pre-order right now. This goes good on anything. Um, By the way, Andrew, the $95,000 thing includes tuition, board, and other expenses. For example, Andrew, some people, they charge extra to use the gym, you know, uh, additional programs, et cetera, et cetera. So, Obviously, it depends on what programs you're signed up so for. So this is kind of like a maxed out tuition. Obviously, it is not 90k off, off out the door it is kind of like if you stack on everything top meal plan right, right, probably right. top fitness plan to and, and those colleges were all in the northeast it's boston it's expensive but also they got amherst university of chicago northwestern georgetown vassar haverford reed college they're pushing 75k what are the pros and the cons because a lot of people are like at 100k per year how could it possibly be worth it obviously if you're from an elite family your family's rich you're going to harvard you're just going to cough up the money though, right? I mean, it's situational. Here are the pros of expensive colleges, Andrew. The prestige and reputation. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, it's kind of worth it for Harvard and Yale and things like that. I will admit it can be worth it still is what you make. Well, because everybody's going to be like, oh, where'd you go? Well, yeah. Please let right this way, sir. Uh, the network. Who you're going to college with, especially in your undergrad, Andrew, oftentimes, not everybody, but they're your buddies for life. Yeah, yeah, and not just that. I mean, it's the network that you get from the alumni network is also very important there because obviously a lot of very uh, well-off or powerful or significant or elite people went to those colleges in the past, and now it's easier to contact them. Um, access to research and school funding. Yeah, right. they do have big endowments, big research budgets, et cetera. Obviously, if you're in STEM fields, it, it depends on the individual college ranking, though. For that industry, uh, more involved activities, alumni involvement, more individual focus. Yeah, I mean, usually if you're going to pay that much, you do probably have more... You don't have to wait as long to talk to a counselor or a, you get extra help. It's true. Andrew, we went to the University of Washington. Trying to get your classes and staying up till 4 a.m. was crazy. Oh, when you had to oh wait. Oh, my no, no. gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the way it is, I don't know how it is at other colleges, but I know at these big public universities, we have to wake up at a certain time to sign up for classes. And it's like getting, you're like rushing to buy something that's going to sell out online. It's like Black Friday yeah. online sales. Yeah, exactly. And then sometimes you're like, oh, I didn't get the class. I like woke up 10 minutes late unlikely to happen if you're paying $90,000 for school. Right, right, right. Cons of expensive colleges. If you don't make the most of it, you're in gigantic debt that you'll be paying off forever. That's crazy. Um, obviously, it depends. Like some people, they go to these expensive schools. They don't maximize their experience. People just think you're a rich kid. But yeah. I mean, I would say, listen, actually, one of the biggest pros is if you go to an expensive college is that if you got legit financial aid or some type of scholarship, and you make the most of it, then in a way you got the best deal. Mm, I will say this, people just thinking you're a useless rich kid, that's more for USC, NYU though, let's be honest. Ooh, it ain't, you're making it ain't fun of the USC. Ideas. Ideally, you rich, and you connected, and you smart. I know a lot of people from USC, and some of them are going off to do good things, and some <laughs> of them partied.
Uh, quality of actual education classes is not necessarily better depending on your field of study or focus. Yeah, and again, like, true, usually the public schools are bigger. So you got like, I was in a classroom with like 500, 600 other people. Obviously, it doesn't feel very personal in that, but that was like an elective. I didn't really care about it. So obviously, it all depends on really what your own driving power is and what your focus is. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody, given the same price, everybody should go to the best co college for their given field of study, though. Right, right, Like, right. if ever, all things equal, generally, it's so, better. So, David, obviously, we're going to get in the comment section, but is college still worth it to this day? Like, now, I'm, now, I'm not, obviously, for 100K, some people literally just should not do it. They can't afford it. Obviously, some of them are top schools, but if it's not the top school, why pay that much? For There's sure, for sure. I think the equation's changing. I think it depends on how much money your family has. How much are you realistically going to take advantage of your situation, both on a professional, personal development and social development level? Like, are you the type of person where you're just watching anime and playing video games in your room or whatever shows, you know what I mean? It doesn't gotta be anime, but like, then you're just isolated, right? You're not taking advantage of everything, uh, that's available to you. Anyway, let's get in the comment section. Somebody said, man, the whole cost of all colleges is super bloated nowadays due to so much administration costs. And other people are saying that they know that students are just picking based on facilities and amenities nowadays rather than education. So it makes the schools pump more money into the facilities to attract more students, but then that raises the tuition. Oh, that's really interesting. I didn't know. I, I didn't know if that's true or not. Let us know in the comments down below, all you recent college grads, like what, like, is it worth it to go and pay a lot for school or especially for your situation? Right. Somebody said a country that allows organizations to prey upon its youth is doomed. Obviously, this was from the crowd, Andrew, of doomers basically saying that higher education in America, even though it's supposed to be best in the world, is now all for profit. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I mean, recently, uh, I believe the Biden administration just forgave a bunch of loans. Right. They gave forgave a lot. So if the universities are, are thinking, oh, well, you know, once in a while, a president's just going to wipe all those loans out and pay them back for you, then uh, why not charge these kids a lot? For sure. Somebody said, after getting my bachelor's and MBA, I don't think I'd do the same if I was in high school. I'd rather go to trade school. Some people said, yeah, man, how come everybody's skipping off being a plumber, garage door fixer, a contractor? They make bank and you don't go into debt to study for those things. Mm. Yeah, I think a lot of people are talking about it right now. I mean, you you live a different lifestyle when you're in those like high paid blue collar professions too, though. And I, I, I feel like there's a lot of identitarian things going on. Oh, I don't identify as a blue collar person, even though algorithmically there's some logic behind no, it. No, like what if people just want to be cool? And then all they think is like, oh, the best school. It's the coolest school. It's a cool school. It costs a lot. I want to go there. Right, right, right. Um, People are talking about uh, how higher education in general is a scam. Somebody just said... Yeah, it's not a scam, but if you basically don't know what you're doing and you blindly apply for overpriced universities, it absolutely is a scam. Yeah, I agree. Listen, it is not really a scam if you make the most out of it. That's what I tell every college kid that I meet because like some people, they really don't maximize their college. It's true. If you just step into college and you do the bare minimum, it may not be worth it. It's true. It really right. may not be Honestly, worth it. Honestly, you might have been better off, like, even joining, I, I don't want to say the military just because you don't want to get embroiled in a foreign conflict, but, like, something like that. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, but, like, working in the industry at a low level for a couple years, rising up that way, then that's, like, real-life experience. Um, it also really depends on your goals. Like, if your goal is to just make money for your family, you don't need to go to college. You do not need to go to college to start making money for your family and then rise up and make a lot of money. You really don't. Right, but you need at least a master's degree in common sense to do that. Yes, you gotta be sharp to do that, but you do not, do not need a degree. Right, somebody just said ridiculous, and this of course even, none of this even guarantees that graduates will get a high paying job. And somebody said, well, no it does. If they go to an Ivy League school, they'll have so many opportunities to go into whatever field they choose. I mean, those things are like, they're both true and not true, right? right, right I mean, right. like, it depends on what you major in in the university, what's your GPA, how motivated do you seem in the interviews, 
You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. if you go work a nonprofit, obviously it's never highly paid unless you like do some scam stuff. Somebody said, "What's up with the USA?" Somebody said, "It's a dying empire. It's just greed and uneducated people have taken over politically and economically. There is a loss of morals in our country." Mm. Somebody said, "Go to go to junior college." I would recommend this. If you are in a state or a school district that offers Running Start, which allows you to get community college credits towards your Bachelor of Arts, your BA in your uh, in high school, maybe take advantage of that. Mm. Right? There, there's a lot of like outside way outside of the box thinking that you can apply to this situation to avoid the 100K per year colleges. Um, somebody said, man, this is why people don't want to have kids anymore. Oh, everybody's just trying to flex on everybody about what school they can get their kids into and what they can afford. And this person ultimately said, listen, I went to a mediocre college and I'm doing better than some of the Asians I know who went to Ivy League schools because ultimately it's your work ethic that gets you far in the high paying jobs and your ability to just get stuff done. Yeah, it is your go-getter attitude. It's your way of presenting yourself. It's your networking. It's your work ethic. I think all those, if you actually are strong on all of those metrics, like you have motivation, you know how to present yourself, you know how to network, and you know how to go get after things. You're not scared of getting rejected. And you're not scared of being rejected, then you are literally already better off than like probably 95% of college students. I I do think that obviously having a name brand college attached to you, it helps. Of course. Having the name brand attached to it, 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 it just enhances everything. But really what's going to make or break you is yourself. Absolutely, guys. Listen, I always say in life, we're all like different types of like robot vacuums. You know what differentiates, Andrew, the most expensive robot vacuums? They're able to map the floor and go through barriers where the other robot vacuums that are like the cheaper $80 ones, they can't, you know, they just hit the chair leg and they bam, 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 freeze, freeze, can't go any further. Technically, the $800 robot vacuums should be able to just be like, figure it out, you know, and go forward in life and have forward motion. Listen, the college you go to does not determine your price tier of Roomba that you are as a human. Um, ultimately, I'll say this. I think that the world is changing and I do think it's trending away from formal education because the world is changing so fast that some of the information you learn in school is becoming like outmoded. Do you know what I mean? Because, Andrew, I know some kids that are just, like, trading crypto and got rich off Solana. They just went to, like, a whatever college, and they're about to retire, like, next year. You know what yeah, I mean? And, like, and there's and more I opportunities like that in 2024 than there I was I wouldn't in the past. recommend everybody go chase crypto either and retire early, but, you know, because those maybe is not, like, a real job in a sense. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, if that is your goal, is, like, you just want to make money, then there are a million ways to make money for your family and support yourself in America. And that's a great, America is actually an amazing country to make money without formal education. Right. It's actually an incredible place to do that. You can stock trade, you can trade crypto, you can literally do real estate. You don't need a college degree for that. You can do a bunch of stuff. You can even start coding. You don't need a college degree. You just need a coding degree or some coding background. You know what I mean? So anyways. Yes, uh, name brand colleges, in short, name brand colleges still matter, but they don't matter as much as they used to. More focus on what you're able to deliver and just like put into the world. Yeah, and what you want to focus on, guys. Anyways, uh, so in a way, is college worth it? Uh, It just depends on your motivations and what you want out of life and what you can do, honestly. But anyways, guys, let us know in the comments down below if you have any insight, if you just graduated from college and have uh, some other opinions on this. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.